Hi, I'm uh, Drew Olinoff, Community Director at TechCrunch, and I have a, a guest here today, and I'll give you a little background on it first. It's Joe Fernandez from Clout, the CEO of Clout. Now, I, I'm not sure if you've read a post that I wrote this weekend. Basically, it was about how companies might already be using Clout scores as, as a desired skill or part of their hiring process. I wrote a piece about that and wasn't wasn't too happy about the idea, and I've been consistent in that thought process, but I invited Joe to come talk about it, and he was gracious enough to come, and we appreciate you making the time, Joe. No, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, happy to be here. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, this weekend in the story, I, I just, I think, we went back and forth on Twitter a little bit, and what I wanted to do was kind of break it out of there. You had said that, you know, um, you know, the original tweet was, uh, Salesforce was hiring a community manager, and one of the desired skills was a cloud score of 35 or above. So, I mean, where do you see cloud scores fitting into the hiring process in the future? Yeah, I mean, I think if you, there's kind of two components to a hiring process. There's a job seeker, mm -hmm. and uh, nationwide, a very tough job market. And more and more, your ability to communicate using social media, social tools, sure. whatever, is an important skill set for, or you know, beyond community manager, like right. all sorts of jobs. Right. Uh, so I think in that scenario, as a job seeker, put everything out there that you're good, that you can okay. go, that like, you know, like anything you could differentiate yourself. Sure. Like why not put it out there? Right. Flip side, you're a HR hiring manager. Your bad economy. You have just so many people to filter through, and you, you know, right. there's all sorts of criteria. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, you know, I spend a lot of time talking to these HR managers. Right, right. And I think the thing that the, was disappointing in the article was didn't give them credit for actually being intelligent sure. and being able to think beyond one metric. It's sure. A, it's an ingredient of things. Sure. And cloud score is, is as good as a lot of other right. things. So I think that leads me to ask the question. So Salesforce, the, you know, they're, they're, I mean, there's nothing to say that they hired the community manager based solely on the cloud score. Wasn't saying that at all. But the desired skill was a cloud score of 35. And I think one of the things is people aren't really sure what that signifies. I mean, can you, I, without talking about secret sauce, yeah. can you just say 35 is a good bar for reasons? Like, so know. I think, uh, I mean, that is one, because this is also new. Sure. Uh, the area of cloud scores a one to 100 score, what is that cutoff? Right. And, you know, is their best practices like we should sure. probably start uh, creating that, and it's one of the things we're working on. Right. But to give to put it in context, 35 is actually below the average score. The average okay. score right now um, for registered cloud users is actually about 38. Okay. Um, okay. So it's it's pretty that's a pretty bare minimum. Like if you're my mom has a score of over 35, and right. she only uses Facebook to stalk my right. sister and I, so. Right, my fiance has a cloud score of like 10, <laughs> which was funny because she was like, oh, since we're getting married, does that mean my cloud score goes up? So we had a joke about that. But she's in insurance, she's in a different vertical, she's yeah. not in technology, so clearly, when she, you know, people are looking at her for an insurance job, looking at that metric doesn't help at all. I mean, she's been in insurance eight years, and what does that score mean? So, yeah. I mean, in that context, uh, when we hire engineers at cloud, sure. if they have a decent cloud score, it's a, a bonus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not like uh, not hiring. I'm not. Hi I'm not like passing on right. uh, an awesome iOS or Hadoop right. engineer right. because their cloud score is low. So it's it's in context. Right. Uh, but I think for more and more jobs, you're you're a spokesperson for the company, and kind of our bigger thesis at cloud is. People don't trust advertising. Okay. They trust their friends. Okay. And being able to activate your network is a key just skill. 10 years ago, it was like, or 15 years ago, it was like being able to just be comfortable on a PC. Then it was like, sure. be comfortable on Google. Now it's be comfortable in social media, and cloud is a right. signifier of that. Right. Uh, have you talked to Salesforce about it at all, other than seeing the link yourself and tweeting it? No, I just, yeah, saw the, somebody sent me the link. Right. Um, it wasn't like, uh, at least I didn't personally talk right. to anybody at Salesforce. Yeah. And It'll be interesting to see, like, if there's anything out of that. My thing was, like, the immediate was, like, okay, Salesforce is a huge company, right? Yeah. So for them to have this signifies something major. And before a major trend happens, I like to have that moment where we go, hold on a second. <laughs> is this all Hold right? on a second, because you know a lot of companies are going to be, like, Oh, they did it, so we're going to do it. But they might not do it in the right way. So I think what you said about maybe doing some how-tos 
or talking about, you know, that's why I wanted to talk to you. How yeah. you see it is important. So companies go, okay, this isn't the Jesus number. This isn't like the almighty. Um, so what is the future of clout and social ranking? My thing with social ranking is just the idea of a class system where there's people who feel bad because they're low clout scores, and then there's people who puff up because they have high <laughs> clout scores. Like, where do you see, like, the whole social ranking thing? You guys are the biggest, so of course you're going to get the most attention. Yeah. There's other players in the space that whatever, but, <laughs> what you know, <laughs> exactly. What are you, like, the, what do you see it as? Sure. How do you stay away from making it? A negative. Yeah, so our mission is to democratize influence. If you okay. think back on influence as a, a concept, uh, historically it's just been held in the, the power of the few who have access to the media, mm -hmm. who kind of sh had the power to shape what we all thought. Sure. What's amazing with social is any person in the world can, with access to a phone, can get on Twitter, can get on Facebook, mm -hmm. can build an audience, can build trust, can right. grow their cloud score. Um, and that's why I actually like it way better than so many other metrics. Even things like, I think about like how many jobs require like a college degree. College degree, GPA. Like, I didn't go to college. Sure. Like I should, what am I sure. not capable of doing? Like at least this, like, you know, every person has a chance at, at building their cloud right. score. Right. The, the question you asked though about like, does, like are you just kind of a jerk for bragging about your score? Um, and it's kind of like money. Or, or, or do you feel like, I've honestly had people who said to me, my cloud score feels, my cloud score is really low. Like, I don't think I'll be able to get a job in technology. And I'm like, oh man, that's a <laughs> bad, that's a bad way to feel. Don't feel that way. Yeah, like, and that's certainly not, so, I mean, we, it's something we hope people care enough about to like participate in cloud and, you know, right. be aware. But it's not something that, you should be obsessed over it. It's something that like every person has influence. It's about sure. you know doing a great job at helping people understand what they're influential about, who they influence, right. providing tools around that. Mm -hmm. But I, I look at it as like because it's early in this whole space. It is. People get hung up on the the number when it's really that's the tip of the iceberg and right. the values in the. Context. But you can be honest and say that that's what we see, right? We see so you your see, icon and we see a number. So yeah. that is what people are going to go off of. No, I know you just did an update where you're, you're showing more things. I think for me, uh, what LinkedIn has done with, you know, giving people references and things like that in a public yeah. forum, I think that's definitely the more stuff I like, right? The more, like, it's, it's kind of subjective. It's like, oh, do I, do I trust Drew's former boss when he says that Drew was good at his job? Right. You know, that kind of thing. So we actually have um, a relatively similar mechanism in Plus K. Right, right. Which is, um, you know, peer-sourced crowd voting sure. on really the things you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. So the LinkedIn model is really amazing for those job skills. Right. Uh, but you know, you might be really passionate about music or snowboarding right. or whatever it is right. and it has no relevance to a job you may have had, right. but you care enough about it that your friends give you plus K. Right. And I, and I think the only question there, and I mean, we won't dive deeper because I think it'd be great to hear more from you guys on this is, the fact that I'm super stoked about snowboarding and maybe I am influential in snowboarding just meaning people pay attention. Right. What does that have to do with the job? Uh, because it could inflate my cloud score because because it's called skateboarding. Tony Hawk's like Drew is the man on skateboarding. Right. Boop, boop. I mean showing that you're passionate in anything and that you have the ability to That's spread fair. that to the world. That's fair. I think is completely relevant and you know, yeah. and again, it's an ingredient amongst everything else they take into account. I, I think that's completely fair. Um, going towards the, the folks that do obsess about it, because you know there are people, because people love <laughs> numbers, the, right? I get the emails every right. day. <laughs> how do you, how do you uh, deal with the folks or talk to the folks, they either complain about it or take it super personally or think, my score should be higher, my score should yeah. be lower, my, you know, or whatever. Like, do you guys have a team that's like customer service that has to, like, do you just, do you send them a link to a story? How do you handle that? So we do have a community support team mm -hmm. and um, they take the brunt of <laughs> thousands right. of emails right. every right. day right. of people, um, you know, having questions about sure. why their score went up or down. Sure. And so probably we more down, right? Because <laughs> they nobody more complains more when questioning it goes up, right? when it's, it's going down. <laughs> so we have, you know, we have resources that help explain certain things. Uh, most of the times, it's somebody like 
didn't connect their Facebook account correctly or something right. like that. Sure. But that's usually, so right. we have a community team that right. fields most of that. Well, I mean, it is in a hot space and it is a, a space where people are passionate about things either way. So, I mean, I, I appreciate you coming down because there, it, like, there's no, it can't be black and white, right? right. It can't be cloud is bad, cloud <laughs> is great. There is in the middle. So I'm really hoping that you guys fill in that middle to kind of understand it. And I mean, we talked about this, but um, I, I think that this is a good opportunity. You know, there had been uh, rumors, sources, whatever, that had said that clout had manually changed people's scores. Right. Again, probably for the better, <laughs> if, you know, um, to, you know, somebody was complaining. So what do you have to say on that? Uh, absolutely not. 100% never change a score. Right. Uh, I mean, if so, my score would be a lot higher. But, <laughs> but also, I mean, if you think back, we're what like, is your yeah, score? It's like seventy-seven right now. Is that high? That's high. So, so See, that's what I'm saying. What is that high? <laughs> um, so seventy-seven is high. I mean, right. you're an eighty. Uh, so, I mean, that's a high score. The if you think back, it was almost exactly a year ago. We had mm -hmm. the cloud apocalypse where everyone's scores right. change. Tweak an algorithm. Yeah, we like had happen. an algorithm change and. Um, there's no way out of that. Like, there's like people are mad their scores go down. Right. I think people email our customer support team and maybe get walked through a solution, like sure. connecting their account and their score goes up. Um, right. But it's never the it, the integrity of the algorithm is that's everything we've got. That's okay. the whole thing. I think that's fair, and I think moving forward too, um, you know. I would love to talk to the people from Salesforce and see how that all worked out. And I think you guys talking about those HR trends, that's gonna be really important moving forward so that there's guidance there. Yeah. Because I think anytime, I mean, somebody who stands there and goes, hey, everybody should jump off a bridge right now, there's gonna be people who are gonna join them. Yeah. So this is, it is early on, but it is a hot space and there's a lot riding on it, people's livelihood. So I'm really glad that you came down and talked to us about it. No, appreciate you having me. And uh, yeah, this is definitely an ongoing discussion. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're trying to fill in that space. Sure. And, and uh, well, we really enjoy the process of doing that. <laughs> That's all we can ask for. Cool. Thanks, Drew. Thanks, Joe.